Hi there, this is Leah from Mommyish, and today I have a, I don't know if I'm going to call them tutorials anymore. If I'm showing off something and teaching you how to do it, it should be a tutorial. No. Okay, no. Tutorial on how to use the products. Um, a little while back, Wishing Well Creations had um, created these really nice textures, blue jean textures, and I was like, oh, it would be so much fun to make like blue jean styles that were seamless and stitching so you can make like really cool elements. Um, so I asked if I could use her textures and if we could kind of like collaborate by letting me steal her things. And um, I guess it's not stealing if she gives it to you. Anyway, anyway, um, to use them. And, uh, and that's what I have to show you today are the styles I've created. Um, and how to use the tools to create really fun elements. Now this, um, this background here, this is six by six. So you have an idea of the size of what we're working on. So, um, and I'm just going to lock this layer because I can. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a heart. Um, I'm just going to create a shape, right? Wee heart. Um, I'm going to move it here toward the middle of the screen. This heart is pretty large and in charge. It's like almost three inches wide, two inches tall, getting there pretty close. Um, I know you can't see it because it's not a color. There we go. There, now you can see it. All right. So let's say you're wanting to create an element and you're working with the shape. What you would do with this set is you would, um, if you're in Photoshop, uh, CS or CC, um, is have your layer selected click on your paths tab. If that's not there, go to window and then, um, paths, see, and, uh, you'll see that this is already selected because I have the shape selected. I just double click it. I'm going to call it stroke there. And, um, as you can see, there's my new path. Whee! Just like that. All right. So that gives me the path that I want. Um, next I am going to go ahead and rasterize this layer or simplify it. Uh, I'm going to double click on it and add a stroke. You're going to see why I'm going to do that here in a second. So um, I'm just going to increase this by a little bit. It doesn't matter what color this is. At this point, it does not matter. So I'm rasterizing the layer style. Great. Um, next thing I'm going to do, because <laughs> I'm just about doing all these things, is I'm going to create a new path. So what I like to do is I do a control A which control that that selects our entire surface. But then I like to use my little um, move tool because the little scissors see. Um, anyway, <laughs> I just move it slightly. Like, but it's so slightly that it's not moving at all. Um, anyway, you can see I got my little marching ants. I then go to path, make work path. So this is going to be our second um, path. I'm going to choose a tolerance of about three. And I'm going to call this one oops, uh, stroke two. Okay. So I have my stroke one and stroke two. All right. So you're probably like, why, why I'm confuzzled. Don't be confused. It's going to be worth it. All right. So once you've gotten this set, you'll load up, you'll have these styles here, as you can see there, and you're going to have some brushes. So, um, brushes are fun. So you can use these brushes either as a follow the path or an erase the path. And then there's also the little stitching brushes for this one. I'm actually going to use it to erase. Um, there's a reason why I added a stroke and this is, I guess I'm going to show you my logic. If I created a path, um, specifically from the shape and then I erased from it, right. Um, it would take away, you know, some of, some of that. And then I'd have to create a new path for my stitching, but I don't want to do that. So if I take my shape, add a stroke to it and erase it from the outside, it works. Does that make sense? That might not have made sense, but it's okay. You'll get what I mean here in a second. So, um, I have my second path. I'm going to go ahead and choose my brush that I want to use. I'm going to choose the 50, not the 75. Um, you can always scale these down if you want to. Um, so I have my first layer selected. I'm going to go to paths. I'm going to go to stroke two, the, the one on the outside. And then I'm going to go to, um, I'm going to go to my eraser tool. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure that the right one is uh, selected. So brush, you're going to use your eraser brush. Make sure your 
correct brush is selected. Go to stroke path, then choose eraser. Ah, ha, ha. See what that did? It erased along the outside. So now I'm going to create a layer above that one. I'm going to choose one of the stitching brushes. Um, we're going to choose this one. Okay. And then I, um, and I'm going to make sure that I have the stitch in the color that I want it to be. Um, I'm going to go for like a more traditional sort of, um, blue jean stitching color, you know, like that gold. Anyway, uh, so there that is, have the brush selected. I'm going to go to my first stroke path. You can see when I select it around, I guess I should zoom in a little bit. That might be a little more helpful. Sorry about that. There you go. See how you can see the path. Um, ah, oh, it looks so neat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to go to stroke path and this time we're going to make sure to change from eraser to brush right and then hit okay oops wrong one <laughs> don't be afraid it's okay you can always go back a step there we go and we're going to do here stroke path yes there there that doesn't look so crazy all right um so now on this lower layer I'm going to apply the jean style. So there's three jean styles. You can see there's one, two, and three. And then I'm going to apply the stitching uh, style to the stitching. Um, and there's one with and without a shadow. I'm going to use one with the shadow. Um, and because of the way the background is, you might not be able to see the edging really well. So I'm going to go ahead and apply a style to the edging so you can kind of get an idea of how that looks. And as you see there, We've just created a cute little blue jean element. I love it so much. Okay. Um, another thing that I made is like this uh, effect that does like a acid wash sort of thing. So let's say we wanted to do like a paint splattery thing over our, um, over our element. I'm going to rasterize the layer style and I'm going to create a layer above that and then clip that layer to it. Control Alt G. Um, I'm going to go through my brushes. And I'm just going to find a splattery brush, which we have here. Doesn't matter what color it is. Um, man, they're all kind of, they're large and in charge. I should rescale them down a little bit. Uh, they're large and in charge like me. Uh, so there we go. I'm just splattering just so you can see. And then I'm going to add one of the acid wash effects. There are two. So that's the first one. See how it does? That's two. Um, you can also do this to add text or, or whatever, but I thought it was kind of fun. Um, but yeah, so that's the blue jean part of the style set. The next part of the style set is leather. Um, <laughs> this is mostly cause I was like, it would be so much fun to make like little leather patches. Cause what goes with jeans are like the little leather patches on the back. So, um, I'm just going to use my rectangle or actually rounded rectangle tool for now. Like this. And I'm going to change this part here to like 10. Perfect. Uh, it does not matter what color this is, by the way. And I'm just going to put these guys together so they'll get out of our way. Get out of our way. Um, so we have our shape here. Um, somewhat like the, uh, the, other, the other one, if you're wanting to do stitching on the inside of a patch, um, I would suggest to maybe add a stroke around the outside or depending on what kind of element you're using um just a little bit maybe like 25. Um, so i'm going to do that actually after i create a path so again with the shape i go to paths double click it i'm going to say square well it's not square but you guys get me um just like that and i'm only going to need that one path um now i'm going to add a stroke and we're gonna make it like 25, like I said before. Perfect. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and rasterize this layer style. Now, you can see I still have my path selected. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose a leather, like there's two, so there's a darker one and a lighter one. We're gonna go with the darker one so we can all see a little better. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. All right, um, now we're gonna create two layers above this. One, two. Now. Actually, no, just one. I lied. Just create one layer. Oh, no, I deleted the path on accident. Don't do that. Um, <laughs> okay, one layer above it. Uh, then I'm going to choose uh, the stitching color that I want. I'm going to choose dark brown. I'm going to make sure that I pick the correct um, 
the correct brush. And remember, you can also scale these brushes down a little bit. So I'm going to move this down to like 40. Um, and now I'm going to go to my path, my square path. And we're going to um, stroke path with the brush. Yes. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to duplicate this layer. See, I almost had you do something twice when you didn't have to. Um, now, for this effect, what we're going to do is we're going to use our stitching emboss, which is right here, very end of the stitching emboss, like that. And then we would put our stitching style on the the layer over that. And as you see, if I if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that it gives it that kind of uh, you know, that effect you have when something's actually stitched into leather. I love it. I also uh, created another emboss uh, style for let's say you wanted to make some kind of like blue jean text. So I'm going to put stud. <laughs> I'm silly. All right. That's actually like a pretty decent font for that sort of thing. Don't look at my fonts. I have too many of them. I put study instead of stud. Let's see where my mind is. I'm like study, st study, study, um, stud. Yeah. I make that a little bit bigger. Doesn't matter what color that is. And then you just apply this, um, this effect to it. However, if you wanted to um, kind of change it to however you wanted it, I would suggest um, what to do would be you can use the emboss from the stitching like that. Um, you could duplicate your layer like that. We'll turn our fill back up all the way. I'm going to turn off the layer style and you could just change your overlays uh, to something like uh, linear burn which is extremely dark. So if we go like that, you can see how you can kind of have a little more control of how that looks. So that's what you want to play around a little bit. So there we have it. Now we have a stud patch and a little heart. <laughs> and blue jeans and leather look so good together. See? And I didn't even mean to rhyme. I feel very clever right now. Um, anyway, anyway. That's the new set. I really hope you guys like them. I think it's going to be a lot of fun to use. I, I've only done like these little things with it so far, but I have a feeling that you could really do a lot if you wanted to. Really good toolkit. Um, anyway, I hope you found this helpful and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Uh,